Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So I was talking to our producer, Yolanda, the other day, and she was saying to me, it is so hard to be a woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, I look, yeah, I see it all over your face. <laughs> but, I mean, okay, so, yeah, it might be hard uh, to look like this. Yeah. Miss Anna's new uh, cover. This woo! takes how many, how many hours did it take you to look like this? Well, because I did it, and I do makeup, so it was quick. But my, my whole, you know, uh, opinion about it is look at my face. Like, mm -hmm. women have to put on makeup. I mean, I don't know how long it takes you guys. Sometimes uh -huh. it takes a woman to get ready in two hours. Well, for me, I mean, you know, I'm just an eyeliner kind of person, so it yeah. takes me two minutes. But, you have beautiful but, face. but there's all these expectations of women generally in our culture to not only maintain our faces, <laughs> and our hair, and our nails, and our skin. Mm. That that's a lot of work, and it's expensive. It yes. is. Um, but I think yes, you're absolutely right. And then there's, on top of that, which is self-care, then there's care for the family, if you have kids, and there's care for your parents, if you know if you have parents that need taken care of, then there's care for the husband or boyfriend if you're married or dating someone. So you gotta be the caretaker and look good. Well, in fact. That's a lot of work. Yes, <laughs> and if you are caring for someone and they want you to look good while you're caring for them. Yeah. Absolutely, I mean, I, I actually dated a young man once very briefly, I might add, um, he, because <laughs> that's <a> briefly, briefly. <laughs> yeah, that, that's intentional because he basically, he communicated, after we've been dating a few months, he communicated what he was looking for in a wife. Wow. Now, one of the reasons he was attracted to me was because, you know, I'm, I'm educated, I'm intelligent, you know, I have multiple graduate degrees. That's some, that is something that drew him to me. Mm -hmm. And then when he turned around and told me what his expectations were with, for his wife, um, he basically wanted the madman treatment. I mean, he specifically said, I want her to greet me with a drink when I come home. Wow. Um, we, went to a, we went to a function and his friend's wife brought the husband a plate. Wow, look at such and such. It, would be, it sure would be nice if I could get a plate. And so he wanted, and he let me know that his plan for housework included gardening and cars. Okay, yeah. okay. And I, well, what's wrong with the, the, the bringing the plate though? Well, you know what? I I don't have a problem with it because, quite frankly, I will fix my man a plate, no mm. problem. But the way he it was, was an looking expectation. For, there the was an expectation, it. and mm. it was the servitude, the, the level of servitude he was expecting, because mm -hmm. it's that built in with everything else. And right. I think that's part of what's happening now in society as well is that men want us to be everything mm -hmm. because yeah. and because they're like wow wow you can you say you can be everything be everything go out Super and work woman. get a career yeah. be and, a mom and by the way you won't have any Wait time to have sleep already. because mm -hmm. you, there's just no time in the day to do it all and it's hard to do it all mm -hmm. do you guys yeah. sleep the mom, you don't the mom you know what i try to sleep like i got on my husband i said look man you want me to cook you want me to clean wash these kids and then do it to you mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> <laughs> And you gotta do it with a smile on your face. Right. Like, like, into it. It. Wait, wait, I, I wanna know. I wanna know. Them. Yeah. Okay, well, we're kind of on the topic. Is it true that married couples like, schedule sex? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes. Like, um, when you have hours? kids, when you have kids, okay. Yeah. Do you, you like? You do have to mop. Say mom, like, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Thursday. You know Thursday what? Thursday and Woo, nine. You what? Know? And you just help something happens. Right. She's, right. Like, she's like, like are you I'm like, I started dating someone regularly now, oh. and he has kids too, and I have kids, so we're only oh, we can only true. see each other every other weekend. You know what I do every other weekend, right? You shake your butt. I don't want to know. You shake your butt. I don't want to know. <laughs> That's what you do. I don't want to know. It takes a lot of work. I mean, you don't have kids, and you even have difficulty. Like, you don't sleep. I don't sleep at all. See, you don't sleep. That's why I was asking you. Do you guys sleep? Because you know the whole thing of perception that for me to have children in a family, I think mm -hmm. being Latino, like one day I would want that now, mm -hmm. but growing up, I never did. Mm -hmm. I never did. I mean, you can ask me when the people that knew me when I was eight but, years but, old. Like why, no, why no even older. like, were you thinking no, because it was just too much I work? Had, you know, I grew up in church, so I literally uh, was a missionary. Oh, oh wow. So, yeah, that's, that's a lot of work. Not that bad. <laughs> but my whole focus, my whole focus was, you know, just uh, religion, church, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like just God, you know. And I'm not saying that I lost God already. Like mm -hmm. now, never lose. No, I, I think right. that, in my you heart, know, yeah. I think that you were being true to yourself. And sometimes mm -hmm. women have pressure to have children, have a family. I agree that we we can have that pressure put on us. You know what get on my nerves though. What get on my nerves is the fact that I'm sleeping on the couch and my kids, they know, like, because they come to work with me, they know mommy is sleeping. And they're like, ah, boom, 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 boom. And I'm up here like, oh, trying to sleep. 
And then my husband can sleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and they don't silent. bother him. They don't yeah. bother him. He's well, just slobbing at the mouth. <laughs> Nobody bothers him. But me, I get bothered with. I get told with. I'm taking you to work. Right. I get you ice cream. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, I'm still being harassed. <laughs> but, but Cheryl, what about you? It's like, exhausting. I mean, do, are you exhausted? Uh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, the, the hours I with work. Multiple degrees? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, I sleep I sleep now more than I'm finished with school, thankfully. Mm -hmm. But, no, the hours I work, you know, I mean, I have to be at work at 730. And even though I leave at 530, you know, there's so much that I carry with me because mm -hmm. a big part of what I do is solving people's problems. Wow. You know, that's not something you can just shut off at 530. And so that combined with, you know, life yeah. in general. But, you yeah. know, I think well, you can solve the world problems on a treadmill. That's what I try and do. We'll continue the conversation when I come back. Yeah, oh, right. that's actually a good we'll place to back think. Back. Yeah. Very good place. We'll be back with Everyday Fitness.